When I was younger, I was actually in a immersion program in school. I was in a program where everything I learned starting in kindergarten all the way through high school was in another language. It was in Spanish. And what that did for me was help me realize that there was a much bigger world outside of the neighborhood and the community that what I was kind of immediately a part of. And so as I was learning about uh, their languages, other cultures, and had the opportunity to travel, I started seeing how architecture was expressed, and how those communities and those cultures actually helped shape not just the exterior, the physical form of that architecture, but those interior environments. And so that was really kind of a, a spark that showed me, you know, architecture really can transform and it can be expressed in a lot of different ways. And that the communities that were placing these buildings in um, have to be able to help lead uh, what that expression looks like. And so we can travel the world now and see that depending on the country that we're in, architecture in the built environment is, is expressed and can be expressed differently. And so that's really all of the information I had uh, in a high school. I didn't necessarily have, have access or awareness to a lot of the programs that they have today that kind of help support um, kind of early education and engagement in engineering. So I kind of went on a hunt on terms of what I was interested in learning more about. And so I made the decision to study architecture in college. As I went through my college curriculum, I was obviously introduced to a lot of different uh, courses and really started to get excited about what actually is required to kind of put these buildings and environments together. When I finished school, I went to work for a small mid-sized firm uh, in architecture, where I really kind of learned the business side of this practice. I was very mindful of understanding that architecture in the built environment is not a profession or a practice that is done by one or two individuals. There are very large teams um, with individuals coming from different backgrounds and expertise that are critical in how we are able to design and construct. And so early in my career and throughout my career, I made it a focus to try to uh, take on responsibilities or to take on positions or roles that were going to give me exposure to all of these different areas. So architecture, like I said, I was always interested in how buildings impacted people. I actually thought maybe I was going to study psychology because that seemed like a oh, uh, logical interface into the built environment and how you know, being in a, a school or an educational facility versus being in a place of worship or in a hospital or clinic, all of those environments are very different. And when I was in college, I had a design studio that was sponsored by a healthcare focused um, architecture and engineering firm. That was the opportunity that I really began to understand how the built environment can directly impact people. And I'd say there's there's no better environment than a healthcare environment where we're talking about healthcare outcomes, where we can see that all of the little decisions that we make in terms of how we create those spaces can directly impact um, the outcomes for patients who are visiting those facilities. And so I kind of decided at that point that healthcare was going to be a space that I wanted to focus on. So the ability to be able to support teams that are creating those environments to have positive outcomes was really an exciting challenge for me to, to be a part of. I think we've the profession has moved past what is this ideal, maybe the stereotype of what an architect is, what they look like, and, and, and kind of the background you have to have to be able to be in this space. Um, that was something I 
didn't fully understand until I got into school, into college. And it was challenging at first because the demographic in this profession looked a lot different uh, when I was in school. And so it was hard to see whether I really had a place here. So I guess what I would offer is if it's of interest to you, first thing is to know that there's space for you here. Do the homework that you can do. Find that area that interests you the most um, because there is space for that um, in this profession.